I'm going to do a little short video on Windows 8. Um, I didn't do as clean an install as I usually do with my solid state drive. So uh, this version, which is pre-beta, uh, it's a preview version, developer preview version, I think is what they've named it. And uh, I just loaded it as per their instructions. And uh, I did not do a, a complete erase of my solid state drive like I normally do when I'm uh, loading an operating system because I wanted to do, when I get through here, I wanted to do a restore if it's possible so I get my speed back with my Windows 7. So uh, anyway, my point is my speed's down a little bit and I'm not overclocked. I'm at 4.3. I'm not as overclocked as I... Uh, usually I go one up the overclock when I'm doing a demo or a bench test. So right now I'm at 4.3. Uh, that scene that you're seeing is inside of Windows 8. And there's quite there's a lot I still don't know about it. Like this scene, I'm not sure how to get rid of this scene. I, I think I can double click right there. But I just, I've been dragging it up. So right here I log in. Whoop. And these are all apps. So there's going to be a lot of apps available for Windows 8. Uh, the only one that I've loaded so far is uh, the Deep Shredder because I use that interface. There's the control panel. And that's another thing. I, I haven't found out a way to move around with these windows. Like right here, I, I'm not sure how to get out of this window. So I've just been going to the task manager. Now I don't see it listed. See there's So, I got out of that window, but I didn't get out of there the correct way. So that's a control panel, which all that looks just like Windows 7. I also noticed the Windows 8 is only seeing 10 gigs of RAM, which my I had 12 gigs. I've never had any trouble out of Windows 7 seeing the 12 gigs. This Windows 8 is only seeing... Uh, 10 gigs. There's Internet Explorer. Use desktop view. This looks pretty standard. Also, on the Windows Experience Index, I've always 
had 7.9 on here. Whoops, uh, this time it's today it's seeing the 12 gigs of memory. It, yesterday it was 10 gigs of memory, so it's seeing all of it. I mean, So, uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be clear. So right now it's on 7.4 uh, and it's seeing all the memory. So what's down is the graphics is down and the disk. That solid state drive always goes to 7.9 from the time I put it in. Now it's on 7.4. So it doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not going to go back and tune all that, try to find out why it's down. Because I'm not going to keep running this. I'm going to go back to my Windows 7. I just wanted to. Run this Windows 8. So at the desktop, I can click on the icon. Which is here. Like, a, you know, that's similar to Windows 7. Or where all these apps are. I'm going to click on Deep Shredder open up the program here it seems to run okay in Windows 8 But the speed's down a little bit. 31.5. I think I did have 36 or 38,000 at that point. So that's the Shredder interface running Houdini 2.0 Pro. Of course everything's 64 bit. That's 12 threads at 4.3. I'll pull the tech task manager up here. So there's the Task Manager. I don't know if that is that window is going to. I don't know if that window is going to stay like that for the beta version or for the final release. And I, and I know you know that uh, that Task Manager window is not not similar. It's different than 
what we're used to in the other Windows versions. So that's the Windows Task Manager. You can see I'm overclocked 4.3 12 threads, two sockets, hyper threadings off. You can see the stock clock is 3.07, six cores per socket. It's seeing the 12 gigs of memory. Okay, I'm going to X out of that. So that's a little slower than before. Of course, SMP, the, all the variations in that search, the time will, the solve time varies a lot. I think the fastest has been maybe 1.5, I mean, one and a half minutes, I think, to solve. Okay, that's, that's all I'm gonna do. I just want to do a little a little short video on Windows 8 and I just did it because I wanted to get a little taste of I'm gonna stop this shredder Houdini okay Okay, so um, we'll close this out, and that is about it. That's a little taste of Windows 8. I'm not sure if I'll download the beta version uh, just to play with it, because of the way I had the, my table bases, the in-game table bases set up for Houdini was working real well and my speed and the operating system was tuned real well and I just like the, the, my Windows 7 so I'm going to go back to that try to do a restore if not I'll have to do a clean install on my solid state drive and start over so that's a little bit of chess computer chess in Windows 8